Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial of Affinity Photo. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add realistic reflection just like that using Affinity Photo. Let's jump into the tutorial right now. Now, in order to do this effect, you make sure that you select the photo, right click, then click Rasterize. Once you're done with the Rasterize, then go to the sidebar tool, select Marquee Select Tool, Rectangular Marquee Select Tool, then select a portion of the photo make sure you go to the lowest part of the image and select a portion there are no rule in it but i like to have a little bit of space right there once you have selected it click delete now things that's gone so you have a little bit more space right now go to the mirror tool right there this is how the mirror tool looks like see there that's the one now all you have to do, make sure you adjust it just about there. Make sure that you have enough head space at the bottom of the tree. Otherwise, it won't look realistic. Click apply. Now, go back to the move tool. Now, you already have a reflection. That's a good news. So after that, that's all about the creativity. So again, right click on the layer, merge visible. Then go back to the old selection tool right there. Now this time you are going to crop the top part. So I'm going to crop it exactly the same where I actually cropped the bottom part. Pretty easy. Now once you're done, click delete, duplicate the same layer like that. Pretty easy. Now once you're done duplicating, then deselect the selection, go to the rectangle, make sure you lock it because when you click the lock button it doesn't move now draw a rectangle on top of the layer just like that pretty easy once you've done it go to the blend mode select soft light you can of course adjust it obviously make sure that you go just a little bit low right there all you have to do go to while the rectangle is selected go to the effect Add some Gaussian blur to make the layer nice and smooth. It's very important. This part is really important. So you've done it, right? Now go to the bottom layer again. Now go to the live filter, add ripple. You see that? Because the idea is that imagine that you're next to a lake and you have a water reflection. Now never go too crazy. Just a little bit, not too much, just a little bit enough to fill the reflection once you are done then go back to the adjustment layer click brightness lock the brightness with the bottom layer now reduce the brightness just a little bit because generally the reflection tends to be less bright than the top layer now once you have done that you see that you have a couple of problems Problem number one, you have a problem at the bottom right there. You can see what's happening. So you can go to the ripple and click preserve alpha. So that's one solution. And the second solution, you click the same layer, go to the move tool, unlock it and make it a little bit bigger. Just like that. As you can see that now it's gone completely. Pretty easy. Now lock it again. That is pretty easy, isn't it? Now you have a very realistic looking reflection on the water. I hope this tutorial has been very useful. If so, please do like and subscribe, save it so that you can come back and practice it all over again. And I see you in the next video. Bye bye.